you know about that. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the World of Dina Safari. Um, do you guys remember when I used to do this like every week? I did this every week at one point in my life. So that time is gone. <laughs> Probably for I just good. thought I just thought everybody would enjoy a belly shot. So this is from the side. You guys get to see my belly shots every week, but this is a a live action moving belly. I was kind of hoping that she would do some dancing for you guys. I guess she's taking a nap. Hey, you know move. You want to show everybody where you are? I am 36 weeks now. Ooh, I just I still can't believe it. I cannot believe that it's almost well, I'm nine months now. I cannot believe that I'm nine months in to my pregnancy. It's just so crazy. Time has just flown. And I will tell you this, and I said this in my last um, blog, but this is so true. The last trimester is so much faster to me than either of the other two. The first trimester took forever because it sucked. I felt bad most of the time and, um, you know, it was just a hard adjustment and everything like that. But Second trimester actually lasted a little while too, which is great because that, I felt amazing. So true about that. You know, the first trimester sucks. The second trimester is awesome. The third trimester kind of sucks. <laughs> but it is going really fast. So in a way, that's good, I guess. So actually writing again. I started writing for one of the freelance gigs that I did a couple years ago. The guy got back in touch with me, which was kind of awesome. Just out of nowhere. He's like, hey, are you looking for work? You know, I've got stuff and I can give you steady work. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm very excited because that's what I wanted to do. I was really nervous about not working, you know, um, and having a baby, you know, you can't really, unless you have a career, like a lot of women do, like a really good career that you are making good money at and have established yourself. Um, there's no real reason to go back. So like for me, it just didn't make sense to go back to just a part-time job. I mean, I wasn't making that much. So it just, it wouldn't even cover daycare, probably. Or it would cover daycare, but that's it. So, yeah, I decided to stay home. So I'm going to stay home with my little person, my little baby. Most likely, I won't be doing a vlog for a while. So, I am trying to get together the nursery house. But Brian and I keep having issues. I mean, you guys. I swear. We've been in this house now for about 40 days, I think. We've already had the septic system, like, blow up, basically. So we have to replace the entire septic system. Which, by the way, is, like, almost $6,000. Who has that kind of money just laying around? I wish I did. Definitely don't. We had to take out credit cards to do that because, I mean, obviously, where is the money going to come from? You have to have sewage. It's not like you can just go without, oh, we'll just do without this for a few months until we get on our feet can't really do that so we are now having plumbing issues like some random leaks and stuff so a plumber's coming tomorrow covered by home warranty god what else helping out a pregnant woman in her ninth month and her exhausted amazing husband who is doing pretty much everything else himself pretty sure that you get extra jewels in your crown in heaven for that one this is long live dead reckless well okay Still only half of it. This is 15 chapters, which is about 40% of it printed out. So this is where I stopped. So about half of this is done. I had every intention of like a week ago doing this, like getting through this and finishing the first 15 chapters in like one week and then doing another 10 and then doing another 10 kind of thing until they were all done. And then everything like happened. Like our car decided, oh yeah, our car, by the way, decided to like explode. Thankfully we had a a warranty on that car. We had to put in, on our, of our own money, about $800 worth of stuff to fix the car. We had to get the brakes done. We had to do the timing belt. Something wrong with the battery, like the random, it randomly like shuts off. <laughs> It'll idle and then like the car shuts off. Like in the middle of traffic, you know. That's not stressful for a pregnant woman. Be driving a car that just shuts off. The other car, the Civic by the way, that car is done. It, uh, it is sitting actually in the garage, which the garage doesn't work either. <laughs> so we have a lot going on, you guys. And, um, you know, got a baby on the way. Got 
couple things happening. So if anybody wants to just like set up a the Help Dina fund, for the love of God, someone help this poor woman fund. I would love you forever. But we actually have been very blessed. Several friends, family members um, have actually given us money and um, just totally out of the blue. You know, it's a God thing because, you know, you come to the end of your rope and you're just crying and you're just like, I don't know what to do, God. You know, I trusted you with these big decisions. There's been a lot that has happened in the past year and it it has been very, very trying emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, every kind of way. It has been so hard just to keep our heads above water, just to keep going. Really would appreciate your prayers, you guys. Lift us up <laughs> as often as you want. Uh, Brian and I could really use prayers. We just have a lot happening. We have been surrounded by just beautiful people who are very generous and giving us, you know, baby stuff and money and just advice, all kinds of stuff, uh, which is extremely helpful. But we could always use some more prayer because every day brings something new, unfortunately. I'm laughing now, but I want to tell you, I usually am crying. I know that I like fail every like character test right now. <laughs> so it makes me feel horrible, but it's been very hard since we've moved in here and um, just coming to the end of my pregnancy here and just knowing that there are so many things that we still have to do. We don't have the money for, like, we don't know where this is coming from. I mean, just that kind of faith and trust right now is so hard at this point in this season of our lives. It's just insane. I am grateful that God leads and when you have faith to follow, even though it doesn't make sense most of the time, and it's very hard. I mean, right now it's just a very, oh, it's just a very hard season for us. So lots of prayer. Appreciate that. I'm going to finish this book before this baby comes. That would be great. Or at least get it mostly done. I really wanted it to be out to you beta readers by like now, yesterday, two weeks, five weeks ago. But uh, things aren't working out exactly perfectly for me. So I've had to adjust a little bit. Beta readers, please do remember that you are interested in reading my book. I'm grateful that God is working things out in the background. I don't even know what's going to happen, but I just have to have faith and trust that he just has such amazing blessings and miracles and great things planned that we can't even fathom like what's going to happen. It's not even going to compare. Thank you so much, Lindsay and Jana. Thank you for my likes on my page. I have new likes, you guys. I actually lost a like last week, which I didn't say anything about because I was kind of sad. <laughs> so thank you so much, you guys, for liking my page. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you so much for listening to me talk and for caring about me and just for being awesome in general. So thank you guys. I'll catch you next time.